the uh, radio on the three again and a little bit more work on it. I've tidied up the uh, the lettering on the dial, the wiping the lettering. Uh, I've done a calibration on it actually uh, calibrated the different settings on the dial. So it's got a reasonable coverage. It goes from just over 400 kilohertz to uh, 2.27 megahertz. Which is very dependent on the antenna loading, which you sort of expect on such a simple circuit. I found that putting a small capacitor, this is 18 picofarad, um, into the antenna line um, stops the <coughs> swamping of the, of the strongest stations so you can actually receive some of the weaker stations on the broadcast band. This is the uh, reaction control and volume. So the idea is to uh, just produce enough reaction to stop it oscillating. See, it starts oscillating right there. Radio 3, working much better than it did last night, there were just a few tweaks to the uh, to the adjustments in there, um, changing the antenna coupling and uh, just analysing what, what frequencies are actually covered by different settings of the, uh, of the antenna and the um, tuning capacitors. This is, this is out of the manual, um, so it gives you an idea of what frequency ranges are covered there, but very broad. It's a short wave, medium wave, long wave, it doesn't really mean anything in the modern world. There we go. That's about as far as I'm going to take it, I think. Be back in the box and play with it a little bit more, and then I'll move on to the next project. <laughs> 